Well, hello, and welcome to the phone box. I'm in London today, and I had planned to talk about something entirely different, but it's raining, incredibly raining. So we're going to talk about back compatibility, because it's important, not an entirely fun subject, I'll give you that, but it's important. So, what is back compatibility? Well, BT still maintain these phone boxes because not everyone has a smartphone or any mobile phone for that matter. I, I have several friends, in fact, who refuse point blank to get a mobile phone. They say, my, my landline is perfectly good. Why do I need a, a, a mobile phone? And they were within their rights to say that. I mean, lot, lots of people might think, well, how could you live without uh, a mobile phone um, in the 21st century? But um, you'd be surprised. A, a lot of people just don't see the need. And, and that's why phone boxes like this have been not only kept in place, but maintained and also even some of them, like, like this one, I believe, given listed building status. And um, that means you cannot take them down. And so, back compatibility is doing exactly that. Ensuring that older technology is available to support those who aren't able or don't have the means to work with the newer technology. Uh, so, for example, uh, a lot of people have started using WhatsApp more than text messages and that's fine but what about those people who don't have a smartphone they might have a mobile phone but don't have a smartphone they can't get whatsapp they can only get text messages so should you be focusing on whatsapp or should you be focusing on text messages i would suggest if you want to capture as much of your um, customers as possible, or, or even your colleagues as possible, always use text messages. Uh, they've been out for quite some time, and they've got quite a lot of, lot of penetration. Um, but if all else fails, plain old telephone service. This thing. That will... Oh, excuse me for wobbling you. I'll put the phone back down that will enable you to get to the vast majority of people because the landline has been around for over 100 years. But how does this apply to your operation, your technology? Well, if you release a version 1, don't break compatibility with it. Lots of companies are very good at breaking their compatibility. I've got, for example, I'm, I'm not singling out this one company, but I've got an iPad 1. <laughs> Never really saw any need to upgrade, it still works perfectly fine. Um, for the apps that I purchased at the time, when I first bought it, but I absolutely can't get any new apps for it, because they all require iOS 10 or above. And that iPad 1 has got iOS 4 on it. so. There's no way it's going to be able to run iOS 10. But, um, oh my gosh, it's really raining now. But, but yeah, if I want to use any of the new apps, I have to upgrade to the, the brand Swish new iPhone, uh, iPad. Um, but I don't want to do that. So. It's really important to make sure that your systems, your operations, uh, your procedures, all of it takes into account the customers that you got early on and takes into account the people who you want to get in touch with who don't necessarily want to upgrade, don't necessarily have all the latest and greatest but still want to work with you. If you don't, You'll just miff them off. <laughs> also, it means that you can stay out of the rain. 
<laughs> oh dear. Well, I suppose I'd better get out and go back to um, somewhere that's actually more than half a meter cubed. <laughs>